Good afternoon. A devastating fire ripped through the historic Simons Valley Ranch this morning. Nobody was injured, but the dozens of businesses in the market have been destroyed. Now that property is on Simons Valley Road in the northwest. The first firefighters on the scene realized right away this was a big blaze. They quickly called for backup. Jordan Canigan has more on the fire. Dozens of fire crews were called to Simons Valley Ranch shortly before 6 a.m. and battled fierce flames for nearly four hours. Several buildings were fully engulfed when firefighters arrived, the roof of the main market collapsing as crews tried to contain the blaze from above. What we've got is a gas leak that's going on. We don't want to extinguish that, which releases the gas into the atmosphere, and then we have no control. At this point, we're still able to control the gas leak because it, we just let it flare, essentially. Built in 2013, the market is home to 32 vendors, mostly small businesses who rely on the space year-round. It's just going to be devastating for all the businesses in there, right, because we're just all small business owners. The ranch's managing partner, Ken Aylesworth, got the call early this morning and could see the smoke rising as he drove towards the property. I just had a pit in my stomach that it was more than just an alarm. And as I came over the hill on Mountain View Road and could see all the flashing lights, I knew it was bad. This has become a real community gathering point and this is devastating. Thick black smoke billowed from the fire all morning, forcing 40 nearby residents to evacuate due to air quality concerns. The cause of the fire, still unknown, no one was injured and animals from the ranch were moved from the market last month. The damage is extensive, but there are already talks about rebuilding. At this point, there's uh, a desire to, to, to do something to replace the market. And Jordan joins us live from the scene. So Jordan, is that fire under control yet? Well, we can now say that the fire was officially declared under control only about 20 minutes ago. So this is still considered an active scene. There are still many firefighters that are working through dousing hot spots. Of course, the flames nowhere near as high as we saw them earlier this morning, but they are still visible in some spots, as well as the black billowing smoke that we saw earlier. That has subsided, but we still see some gray and white smoke coming as the fire crews continue their work. Now, investigators have also showed up. They have started their work here, but it still could be weeks until we know exactly what sparked this blaze. Ian? Thank you, Jordan.